Hello, and welcome to the Seattle Aquarium. My name is Alex. I'm standing here next to our incredible window on Washington waters, and I am being joined, we are all being joined in the water with by diver Alyssa. Alyssa, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Hello, everyone, and happy salmon homecoming. Now, Alyssa, this is a pretty incredible place to be diving. Where exactly are you? Well, this exhibit is modeled after a popular dive site on the outer coast of Washington, near a place called Nia Bay. It's characterized by huge volcanic rocky pinnacles and lush kelp forests that, subvert, that support quite a diversity of life. So Nia Bay is an incredibly important place for us here at the Seattle Aquarium. It is a place where we uh, go out and do research. We work with the Macaw Tribe out there making sure that the ecosystem is healthy. And it's also a really important place for our ecosystems here in Washington. Now, the exhibit isn't just modeled after the Nia Bay ecosystem. Our water comes from someplace pretty special as well, doesn't it, Alyssa? This water is as local as it gets. It's coming in from right outside from Elliott Bay, which means it's the perfect conditions year round for all of these local animals. As a part of our open system with the wild, it brings in lots of plankton, nutrients, and of course, the cold water itself. Now, uh, like you said, that open system means the conditions for our animals here are always perfect for our local underwater neighbors. And Alyssa, what is our underwater weather report today? Well, today it is 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is close to the warmest it gets. So that still seems pretty chilly to me. How is it that you're able to stay warm, Alyssa? I'm wearing a dry suit today, which works just like a spacesuit. And as a matter of fact, underneath I'm actually wearing basically some fuzzy pajamas. So I am nice and warm, trying really hard to fit into this underwater habitat that all the other inhabitants in this exhibit are naturally adapted for. So all of our local underwater neighbors need that clean, cold water throughout their entire life cycle. And for our local salmon, that's a pretty extensive life cycle. They end up in all parts of our local environment, don't they? Even though the salmon are no stranger to this habitat, they really just pass through it as a part of a much larger migration journey. Salmon will start their lives in cold rivers and streams up in the mountains, the Cascades, the Olympics. They will work their way all the way down to the ocean where they'll get pretty big. And that's what we're looking at here, isn't it, Alyssa? This phase of the salmon life cycle is called the ocean adult phase. And at this point, they can be far out in the Pacific Ocean. They travel sometimes as far as central California, northern British Columbia, before returning home here to the Seattle area. And they'll go out into the ocean so that they can get as big as they can, as fast as they can, because they're going to have a really long journey home. They have lots of adaptations to help them along their journey. Their shiny scales help them to camouflage in the shimmery water and avoid predators. But even though they have lots of natural adaptations to help them, it doesn't hurt for us humans to help out as well. Because when they head back to those cold rivers and streams that they came from, they're going to bring loads of nutrients back with them, but they're also going to be facing lots of obstacles. Some of those are natural, different types of predators that they would face along the way, eagles and bears and orcas in the ocean, but they're also facing some additional obstacles, aren't they? We all live in a watershed, and our choices every day impact the quality of the water that these animals rely on. A watershed is everything from the top of a mountain down to the ocean. 
And every time it rains, whatever's on the ground, whether it's trash, soap from washing our cars, or even oil leaks from our cars, all of that is washed into rivers and streams and eventually the ocean. So our daily choices can impact the ability for all these animals, including the salmon, to live happy, healthy lives. So that means that you can do a lot to help these salmon out. You can choose what you are putting your food in. You can avoid things like plastic bags. Make sure you're using reusable items, even uh, when you're bringing things like lunch to school. You can uh, encourage your parents to make sure they're washing their car in a car washer, making sure that water gets disposed of properly. And you can pick up after your pets and make sure that pet waste doesn't end up running out into the ocean. Because these salmon, like we said, are really important for our local ecosystem. In fact, we found their nutrients from the ocean in plants as far away as Idaho, haven't we? When these salmon return to the very same river or stream where they were born, they pass away after they reproduce and have their babies. But that's not the end of their story. They're like vitamins for the forest, and we can trace the nutrients in trees straight back to these salmon. Now, these have been important for the inland ecosystems for as long as the salmon have been around here in the west coast. And we want to make sure that they continue being around for generations to come. Now we mentioned some of the things we can do on an individual level to help those salmon, but in some ways there's even more we can do on a larger scale, on a community level. And we've seen a number of those efforts here in Seattle, as well as some of the other rivers and streams here in Washington State. Next time you come to the Seattle waterfront, take a look around and see what you notice that might be helping the salmon. There have been lots of improvements over the last few years. One of the biggest were the changes that we made to our seawall. There are now tiles underneath your feet made of glass as you walk along the Seattle waterfront. And those tiles allow the light to penetrate into the water and guide the salmon on their way home. And that means that we can see salmon even here in urban Seattle. And that's something that's been really helpful, encouraging more salmon to go to and from the Duwamish River right here downtown. And we're part of a 10-year study to see exactly how much that helps. Now we've seen other efforts, including dam removals in other places in the state of Washington, where salmon recovered even faster, where we saw runs of salmon that we hadn't seen in a hundred years come back after just months. So there are a lot of efforts that we can do here, uh, Alyssa, to help these salmon. The largest dam removal to ever happen in the world happened right here in Washington State on the Elwha River. It was a huge success story because even though that river had been closed off to runs of salmon trying to get home for about 100 years, after the dam was removed, the salmon were back in just a few weeks. And that's just one example of how we can work together as a community to take care of these Pacific Northwest icons. Because salmon don't just live here in Puget Sound or in the Pacific Ocean, they live in the rivers and streams all over. So even if you don't live right on the water, you may have salmon that are swimming right through your own backyard. That's right, so we can all chip in with our everyday choices like avoiding plastic that's unnecessary. And that all helps these salmon. And when you help the salmon, you're helping so many other animals that rely on them. Just like our southern resident orca whales that only eat salmon. 
So we want to thank you so much for joining us here at the Seattle Aquarium for our virtual salmon homecoming. Salmon are an important part of our lives, our culture, and our economy here in Washington State. We do hope that you are able to join us here on the Seattle waterfront at some point in the near future. But in the meantime, we hope you do enjoy all of our local underwater neighbors. Alyssa, thank you so much for talking to us today. Of course. Happy Salmon Homecoming, everyone.